Motor Garage fellas, hope you're all doing well. Well, today my friend's gonna try and do a quick little tutorial just how to make some pretty cool looking razor wire, barbed wire for um, a diorama if you want to use it for that. But um, yeah, I watched a quick video the other day from um, another fellow, I was a YouTuber actually, I put his channel name up here, it's Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. Uh, his name's Viv, he's a pretty cool guy from down Sydney, he does a lot of wargaming stuff, but yeah, he's got a lot of cool ideas for dioramas and painting ideas, and he brews a lot of beer too, so it's pretty cool to see him do all that stuff as well, so if you haven't checked him out, guys, go and check out his channel, you might learn a few things, so. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, he did a quick tutorial the other day on this, so I'm pretty much going to copy what he did, but I just thought I'd share it with you guys, and um, I'm going to do a little couple extra things that he didn't do that I think is going to make it look a little bit more realistic so alright guys um, there's only a few cheap simple things you need I've just been to the hardware store this morning fellas and picked me up some um, this 0.7 millimeter wire it's just tie wire for the garden um, I'll put a close up picture of all these in a slideshow at the end fellas but it cost me about five dollars for 75 meters of the stuff so it's going to last forever and then I also thought where could I find some thinner wire? Because I wanted to get some smaller stuff to make the barbs. So I headed on over to the picture framing hanging sort of area where they have all the hanging hinges and all that stuff. And I found this tiny wire, fellas. It doesn't even... It's just 30.5 metres in length. It doesn't specify how thick it is. I've got a set of verniers here, so I'll chuck it on the verniers when I open it up and... I'll put a picture of the end and the actual size, I'll put it in a caption for you anyway guys. And then just a rusty old pair of plies I got from the garage, piece of garden hose, and a cordless drill or power drill, whatever drill you got fellas, or you did used to have a cordless but the thing died so, back on the old uh, electricity. So alright fellas, um, basically all I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull about 3 metres of this wire out. I've already done that here before, but I thought I'd stop and make a video and just show you guys. It's the first time I've tried it, so we'll see what happens, eh? But I've basically got 1.3 oh, metres of that wire. And as you can see here, guys, I've looped it around in the two loose ends. I've actually just tied it together there a little bit. And basically all I'm going to do is just put that in my drill. Uh, Plug this into the power anyway, fellas, and get a nice... I should be able to just get it with a chuck here. So we'll get it in there nice and tight, so it's not going to go anywhere. Alright. Alright, guys, well, what I'm going to do now is plug the drill in and find an anchor point for the other side of this loop that we made on the other side of this wire, so... I'll stop the camera quickly, fellas. I've got a spot over there I'm looking at at work. I'll set the camera up there and we'll um, see how we go, eh? Alrighty, fellas. So, uh, as you can see, down the other end there, I've got the um, wire just looped around the bottom of the handle there. I just put a couple of twists in it just so it would hold on there. And basically the other end, as you know, is just attached to the truck, the chuck in the drill. So all I'm going to basically do, fellas, is just basically turn her on and keep a little bit of tension on it. And depending on how tight you want it to look, how much you, you screw it in, fellas. So a little bit more. And we're going to start to look pretty good there now. Alright guys, uh, we'll leave it at that. 
Alrighty folks, so uh, once we do that step, uh, as you can see, camera's having trouble focus on this guy, so I will take photos and just do a quick slideshow at the end. But what we'll do is, uh, just the end bit that was in the drill, I'll just take my pliers and just cut that off, uh, nice and clean, and then we'll go to the other end, and we'll cut that loop off. Alright guys, so now we've got a decent length, it's pretty long, it's about, it's over a metre long. Now, what the idea I had fellas was to use this thinner stuff, and I just measured it with my, my verniers and it's 0.3 millimetres thick, so it's pretty thin stuff guys. Uh, what I've done, I've just cut off a little section, I'm even going to just cut it even smaller. I don't want to cut it too short, or I won't have anything to work with. So, now all I'm thinking of doing, you know, like this is going to be pretty tedious guys if you wanted to do it to look like real barbed wire, you'd have to put a few in, but all I'm thinking fellas is just wrap it Yes, it's going to be fiddly and I can probably find a couple tools that will help me out I'm just going to wrap that around a couple times just to give that sort of barbed look Fingers are too fat, but you get the idea anyway, guys. And then you can, you know, snip that off. Just uh, anyway, it's a bit filly to do with um, trying to do on camera, guys. But you can get a rough idea. This camera really doesn't want to focus on this. You get a rough idea what I'm going for, then it's going to look like you got barbs. You can sort of put one of them every, you know, a few centimetres, inch, whatever you want to do. Alright, and then once you've done that and you're happy with that, I haven't sort of decided which is going to be the easiest way to do first. Put all the barbs on, or do this part first. So, basically, all I'm going to do, guys, i just got a bit of garden hose, and I'm just going to grab it on this end. And I'm just going to you know wrap it pretty tightly around there as you see when you let go it it's still got a bit of a spring in it so we'll just keep wrapping that around until we get all the way to the end or you can just leave this straight guys if you just want straight barbed wire I just reckon this looks cool the way that Viv did it in his um, tutorial and I'm completely off camera sorry fellas <laughs> but as you can see the hose pulls out and we're left with a nice piece of um, spring razor wire and you can bend that and manipulate that make the springs bigger whatever you want to do and I reckon if you you know covered that in all those little barbs that I just created I reckon it'll look pretty cool so but alright fellas that's about it thanks for watching uh, I might throw a couple more of these little barbs on and just take a couple photos and I'll put all the stuff I used in the slideshow as I mentioned so but I hope that gives you some inspiration to build something for a diorama if you're into military stuff and stuff like that so alright fellas well thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting all that good stuff it's your mate Danny Mac so have yourself a good day or night wherever you're from Catch you later, Mike.